and um, I was just like 14 and um, I was scouted but I was short you know because I was 14 and I had braces and I was just very un model -esque. and then I just kind of oh, my agency waited my agency waited for uh, for me to grow and then um, once I had grown I just started, started slowly doing things and just kind of doing tests and then because I'm still at full-time school well I guess part-time school but um, it, it's just kind of slowly one thing at a time I think with this season I love it because it's really romantic and the music and everything is kind of in unison and it's just it's a lovely feeling you know and it's very contemporary for spring but there's something very like timeless about it as well I think you know it's applicable to all kinds of like romantic ideas and the clothing is so beautiful and so well made that I don't know everyone wants to wear it so excited no guns and drugs up in the place old school jams put a smile on your face tonight I am studying English language English literature and history of art and I was meant to do drama but I took too much time out of school to be able to do the course, so it's a shame, but hopefully I'll get to do it some other way. I take kind of like extra lessons in speech and drama because I also love poetry as well. So, I don't know, hopefully one day I can act. I'd love, I'd love to do that. I think it's, the plat is kind of different, mixed with the things in the side. It's quite, it's quite original, you don't see it that much. The pink lip is simple but effective, so, yeah, look, I think it's going to be a good show. The best thing for me about Miss Sony is the consistency. You know, you can always recognise something that's by Miss Sony. It's, it's beautiful, it's well made and, uh, you know, of course the patterns. So, yeah, I mean, my outfit's lovely and I, from what I saw of the rest of the collection, it looks, it looks good. I just started, but I think what it is from seeing other models, A, you have to be, from what I can tell, beautiful, and you have to have the height, and I suppose there's a whole physical appearance, you know, to succeed in this job, but really importantly, you've got to have the drive, and you've got to want it, and you've got to be able to work hard and accept that, yeah, it can be a hard job, you know, and you're going to be so tired, and you know, you're going to feel awful some days but that you've got to want it and I suppose above all you've really got to enjoy it and you've got to want to have that have that determination to keep going and be friendly and yeah I really like Christina Rossetti because I was studying her actually at school, but even though she was kind of a tormented soul, which she comes across in her poetry, I think there's something so fabulous about her being, uh, you know, a female poet in the days where it was completely dominated by, you know, male poets, you know, the male profession was considered so much more important and stuff. And uh, I don't know, I like her work and I guess because I studied it as well, I got to understand it more. So it's just, yeah, it's lovely, it's beautiful. Sad, but beautiful. <laughs> I 
have a vacation. I, this time I went to Tunisia in Africa. It was only for a week, but it was very nice because I just could lie on the beach and lie by the pool and do nothing. I mean, I know there's so much culture in Africa, but I was there for a real holiday. So I kind of just went on the beach and oh, it was lovely. It was really nice. And I was with my family as well. So it was just really nice. <laughs> I've been to going to Spain, actually I didn't go this year because I was working, but I've been going to Spain since I was young and um, the kind of north coast of Spain is really nice, you know, it's, it's very pretty and nice beach, I mean I'm generally a beach person, I love just kind of lying on the sand and just not moving for a week, um, which is nice, but also actually I went to Mexico once and saw some ruins and although I'm not normally, I mean my family's a little bit more into ruins and museums, but I liked it, I love art museums, but looking at old artifacts, I'm like, okay, beach time. But no, it was really nice, it was good. Here we are again, it's nearly perfect. What would my mama do? Oh, 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 does she know about me and you? Oh, 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 what would my I love looking at like paintings and museums and I get really into it. Whereas my rest of my family's like, oh, and I'm gonna look at ruins and I'm like, oh, well, see you at the beach, yeah. It's uh, my third or fourth day in Paris. I think I've done about nine or 10 shows and it's going well. Only a few days left, so. It's great because it's a fun show, obviously, you know, the colours, it's always a lot of colour and um, it's young and fun and kind of fresh. Um, my two outfits, both are nice. The first one is the first one is a short dress and the second one I really like, it's a black blazer with kind of ruched black leggings and the blazer's like cut really low and I've got a little black heart on my forehead. It's, no, it's really cute and the clothes are nice and wearable. So. Are you getting to go out a little bit in Paris? Not yet. It's mostly consisted of coffee, sleeping, running, and hopefully, you know, on the last night might be able to have some fun, but right now priority is just keeping going. Oh, actually last night, I'm lying. Last night it was uh, the Blanche Nuit or something, so I didn't go out, but I, got, I had free time, so I was able to have a really nice dinner and walk around the Marais and stuff, so it was really nice. And there is nothing you can do Love Paris. My first time I came here, I didn't like it so much. Well, I think my first time I modeled here, I didn't like it so much. I think because it was my first season and I was exhausted, so everything kind of had a bit of a negative impact. But now I've been here a lot. I love it. It's a lot of fun. The clothes, the makeup, the hair, the people. I mean, I did it last season. I thought like this would be such an amazing show to open. And this season when they're like to open, I was like, what? I'm opening, I'm so excited. So, it's good. I love, obviously, having to meet all these, well, having to meet, getting to meet all these amazing, lots of amazing people, not just, uh, you know, making friends but also designers, stylists and influential people that you're like wow they know my name really me and it's like such a nice feeling I don't know and um, so I love that obviously the people I also love um, getting the chance to travel and I love getting the chance the fact that I'm actually in magazines still a bit of a shock I'm like me are you sure are you sure you want to choose like are you sure so it's nice <laughs>
that you're part of such an incredible process of collaborating to make this kind of final thing. Like, you know, for example, I suppose it kind of hit me a bit my first season at Chanel, and there was so much preparation that went into it, so many girls, like, everyone was working together, and then finally, the end result, like, walking down that huge catwalk, it's just so beautiful, and I kept being like, this is amazing. You know, I'm inside the Grand Palais at 10 in the morning, but it's amazing. Chanel was my favourite show. I love it every season. It's fantastic. <laughs>